All right, now we're going to continue with project number three, Office 2013 Excel Chapter 3, Visualizing Data. So far we've completed steps one through six. Now we're going to focus on step seven. Hopefully we'll get to step 12 in this video. To begin, we have the same file opened up, the Exploring E03 Grader H1 workbook. What we have to do for step 7 is select the drama data series and add data labels in the outside end position. So to do this we have to click on drama so it's highlighted. So as you can see I clicked on this just so it's um, the f it's kind of emphasized and if you right click it you want to format data series so you see right here we clicked on drama and then format data series we click on that and as you can see when you do that all of these data series that pertain to drama they're sort of emphasized they have the um, little dots in the corners so they're like highlighted not really highlighted but they're emphasized I guess you could say they're, that's our focus okay and then in order to add data labels what we need to do is we just scroll up a little bit and we want to click on the chart elements box still with the uh, drama with the drama series those things emphasized and what we want to do is add data labels so as you can see there's a data for the chart elements the data labels is right here now they want a specific kind of data label so instead of just clicking again on this like we did in an earlier step or what we didn't do we have to go over to the arrow right here and we click on that once we do that um, we want the data labels in the outside end position so outside end is right there as you can see so you just select that and then it asks that we add a default gradient field to the data label so we kinda just um, click over here and then again just to get back to the, the labels we click on actually no to add a default gradient field to the data labels we have to instead of clicking on this over here we click on one of the data labels when you do so all of the da data labels that pertain to drama sort of are emphasized or highlighted with the boxes and the dots in the corners basically what you do from there is you format data labels over here see this opens up and what we want is fill so this is pertaining I think this is effects if we want fill in line we click on that and then we want fill so we want a gradient fill so all we do is click on gradient fill and that creates a gradient fill as you can see over here it's sort of like a shaded blue okay so now that we finished step number seven we can close this down and we have to focus on step eight step eight requires us to click cell G5 so we scroll up to cell G5 and just put our cursor in there or click on there to highlight the cell and what we want to do is insert spark insert line spark lines for the weekly data for each category and the weekly totals but do not include the category totals for the data range so again I'll do this step by step I'll save first control S then in order to insert we go to up here to the top the toolbar and then click on the insert tab and we want spark lines so there's a group right here called spark lines right there so we want line spark lines so line spark lines are here we click on line spark lines and it says for the weekly da data for each category so we want weekly data I'm gonna move this over a little bit weekly data is just the data so we highlight the data for each category and the weekly totals so we want weekly data and weekly totals 
oh down here weekly data and weekly totals but not do not include the category totals so you see how I didn't include the uh, category totals just the weekly data and the weekly totals and the location range basically where we want the output is here so we click here actually no we don't click there we are as you can see the data range is B5 to E15 what we want is we want to choose where we want the spark lines to be placed so we have this highlight we drag this down and we want it G5 to G15 so G5 to G15 right here as you can see it's G5 to G15 it's locked in click OK and as you can see spark lines are created that represent the fluctuations in the weekly downloads for each genre to include the weekly totals okay now we're on step nine we've just completed step eight step nine requires us to apply the sparkline style accent three so here are all the styles for the sparklines it's basically sparkline tools once you have the sparklines highlighted down here the tools will kind of just pop up by default and we want to affect the design so we're going on the design tab and the style is here and they have like these different style settings so if you click on this down arrow right here it pulls up a list of all these like sort of set styles and basically we want sparkland style accent 3 I believe that's no spark here right here so as you can see I'm going to kind of hover over it, it says sparkland style accent 3 no darker light that's the perfect one so we click on that and as you can see it changes the style down here okay now step 10 requires us to show the high point and markers for the spark lines so all of these additions or these things that we're adding can be found on the design tab when it has to do with spark to us uh, spark line tool options so it's in the design tab but it's not in the style group it's actually in the show group so we want to show the high point so all we do is we click up here high point and as you can see the high point of each of these spark lines is added with a dot and markers for the spot line so markers is right here we click on that and what that does is it gives us all of the different um, individual to data totals for each um, like week one, week two, week three, week four for each one. Week one, week two, week three, week four. Okay, and then later on in this uh, step number ten, we have to change the high point marker color to red. So to do that, we have to go to the design tab. We're already in the design tab for the sparkline tools. We want the style group and marker color. So marker color is right here. We click on this and we want the high point so as you can see it has all the different ones we want high point and we want an actual color so high point we go over to red right here and we click on that and as you can see the high point of each spark line is emphasized in red or it's colored red okay next for step number 11 we have to select the range A4 to E14 so before I do that I'm going to save control S and now what I'm going to do is select the range A4 to E14 so A4 is right here and I'm going to go to E14 that's right there and create a stacked bar chart so to do that all we, we're going over to the toolbar and we're going to insert stacked bar chart so to do that we go to the bar charts and we can click on that and we can get 
a bar chart that way and you can get more bar charts or what I like to do is to get the best I guess options in the charts group we click on this and it pulls up the recommended charts so if we scroll through them that's a stacked bar chart and that's what we want alternatively you can go to all charts and you can focus on go to bar and then stacked bar is right there so those are the three options so create a stacked bar chart so I'm gonna click on that stacked bar chart and then click OK there's our stacked bar chart what the instructions want us to do is move the chart to a new sheet so in order to do that we just highlight the chart by clicking on it and then right clicking on it and we want to move the chart so click on move and it says move the chart to a new sheet but before that we want to name the new sheet not chart one but the sheet name we want it to be bar chart so just type bar chart basically so now we have we're moving the chart to a new sheet and the sheet name will be bar chart and that's where we want the chart to be placed so we click OK and that moves a bar chart to its own sheet in the workbook okay now that we've completed step 11 we're on step number 12 we have to just add a chart title above the bar chart called November 6, 2016 weekly downloads so to do that we click on the chart it's highlighted we want to add so go to chart elements and chart title already seems to be highlighted so let's just click over here above the bar chart yep that's correct so here's our chart title we just click in that area I'm gonna delete the chart title and I'm gonna type in the new char chart title it's November 2016 weekly downloads okay now what I need to do is highlight that okay and again this little sub menu box thing opens up this is really handy all we do is apply bold to it so once we have the title highlighted we click bold it bolds the title and then we want to change the color to blue accent 5 font color so we just go over here font color blue I believe is this a accent 5 no accent blue accent 5 is over here okay blue accent 5 right here it's the top one blue accent 5 so we click on that okay wait did that work okay let's try that again highlight that no it didn't so blue accent 5 one more time okay it worked as you can see it's blue accent 5 bold